Well, here we have this device, which we can recover in a very easy and simple way. In this video tutorial, we are not going to use a PC. We are going to use a completely updated method without a PC. We are not going to use a UT or a head apps application. We do not have a completely different method to recover our devices. The only thing that we always recommend is to watch the video tutorial step by step to the end to be able to solve what is this problem of deleting the account from our device. We have to be connected to a Wi-Fi network to be able to do what? This process is, we are going to click here where it says do not copy and so you can see that our device has this screen lock, it also has this screen lock, as you can see in the upper left we have what is that little padlock that allows us to enter our phone. Now what are we going to do? Well, we are going to click where it says use my Google account. We are going to click here where it says use my Google account and it would take us directly to our, uh, we have to add what is our lock. Or sorry, our Google account, we can also recover it via phone. But if you don't have any of that information, I'm going to explain what we have to do to be able to recover our device. Uh, we are going to go back, we are going to go back, back, we are going to click here, then we are going to click here where it says add a new one. Then we are going to click here to see we give the voice dictator we give it. In deny we give it again deny we give it again and it now lets us. Enter not through this option now what we are going to do then is. Click here the X we give it back we give it back again we are going. To click here where it says politics we are going to enter here we are going to enter through here we are going. To click where it says click here on these green letters that appear here. We are going to click there. Now this Xiaomi logo will appear. We are going to click on that Xiaomi logo, ready. Now we are going to wait for these configurations to load that will appear. In this option and we are going to select now these these three lines that appear here. We are going to select those three lines, then we are going to click here where it says. Log in, we are going to click where it says log in. Now what we are going to do is look here where it says this start with Google account. We are going to click here. Now we are going to click here in this second option that says help. We are going to click here here help this is where we are going to start. What are we going to do? Well, as we can see here in this magnifying glass we are going to click here and we are going to click here. We are going to give those two options, we are going to click. We are going to click here until we get paralyzed, what they are. So that it comes out, it is marked what are the letters that are here. We are going to give it softer, softer, here now what are we going to do when that is copied to us. We are going to click here where it says share. We are going to click on share, we are going to select Google Chrome. We are going to do it again and as we can see Google Chrome is no longer working. It now lets us enter Google Chrome. So we are going to look for this little message that appears here. We are going to click new message. We are going to write here, we click on it, we click on it now. What are we going to do? Well, here we are going to use the following. We are going to click what is this little camera. We are going to click on the little camera, we are going to click here where it says attach. We are going to click on that photo. Now what we are going to do is click here where it says share. Now we're going to look here for the next option that's going to appear here. This one that says, 
Search for image, we're going to click on the option that says search for image. Now what we're going to do is click on these three dots. We're going to click here where it says policy and privacy. And it would take us directly to Google Chrome. Now we're going to click here where it says use my Google account. Sorry, use the Google account, once we're here. Now we're going to click on these little dots that appear here. We're going to click here where it says Google. Here we're going to click here and we're going to write David Cell. David Cell here that option is going to appear. We're going to click here in search. Here this option is going to appear that says Android DTV. Once here in Android TV you're going to click on it. You're going to click on that option that says Android TV. You're going to click here on understood. You're going to go to the last options here you're going to give this option. That says David CEL apps. We're going to click on it. Now we're going to wait for everything to load. Here we have several videos. We have several videos. Several methods to be able to recover this other different methods. For those who want to see it and we're going to go down here backwards. Backwards, we're going to go down. We're going to go down here we're going to be able to find what this option is. We have a shortcut for what we're going to do now. Let's go to click where it says Google Maps, we're going to click on it and you'll see. Now it would take us to this section, what are we going to do here in this section? We're going to click here where it says jump. We're going to click here, we're going to click here. We're going to click OK. Here we can locate any of these stores that appear here or here. Well, yes we can. Let's see, we click here on share. Let's see, we hold Gmail, they let us hold it. Well it doesn't matter, if it lets us hold it we're going to click back. We're going to click here on this little arrow. So what we're going to do now is click here on this magnifying glass that appears here. I mean this little ball that appears here, sorry, we're going to click the ball. We're going to click here on settings. Here we're going to click on location, it's going to be activated. If it comes out OK, click OK, don't worry, then we click on accessibility here. We enable this option. Ready, now we go back, let's go go back. We're going to give it here that says Google Settings Location. We give it here it says, Permission allows us, then we're going to give it here where it says All. We're going to click here, we give it here where it says All. Now we're going to give it here where it says More. We give it now where it says Show System here in this option. We're going to click here it will appear what are the Google Play services here we are going to click on those. Services here it will give us the option to disable the application it will return to us. It will close on us. Now what we're going to do is press the restart button and now. We're going to wait a few seconds until our devices restart. When our phone completely restarts we will. Be able to configure it in a very easy and very simple way. We will wait until it starts. I also want to recommend that in the description of the video and in the comments. We will have new methods to be able to solve what these problems are. With these devices EHI also want to tell those people who. Want to solve what this problem is with this if they want to see our. Advanced video EH we recommend that you subscribe to what is our community of members so they can be attentive, we are going to click here, we click here. On skip, we click here on continue. We are going to click next, we click here on next. The arrow stops, now yes or yes we have to get to this section. We have to get here where the option appears that. 
Says do not copy and then it would take us to the next level. We are here in the last steps to be able to complete. What is this process of this of this elimination of this account from this device? Positive. That's why we always recommend watching the video. Tutorial step by step so that you don't miss any of these. Details and can solve what is the account of these devices. Come on, we're here. We're going to wait until they load the next option that we are. Telling you that has to come out here where it says here where it says do not copy. Then we click on it and then we do the process again. We're going to do the process again, we're going to wait, we're almost there. Ready. Here we're going to click where it says do not copy here it would stay stuck there. Up to there we need it, we click back. We go back. Back, back. Here we click on policy. Now we're going to do the next thing. We're not going to enter here where it says click, we're not going to upload. And we go down and we are going to give it here in the first option that says www.me.com. We are going to click on it then we give it again here to these three. Lines that appear here we are going to click on it we give it again. Where it says log in we give it where it says log in we go up. We give it here start with Google with a Google account we give it here it says help. And we are going to do the same thing here, here in the magnifying glass. We now give it share, now we give it here in message. We select the same option that we already have registered. Now we are going to click here the image, take the photo. Attach, we click the image. We now give it here in share and now we give it where it says search. Here search image, we give the three dots. We give it here where it says politics and privacy. Politics and privacy, we give the dots, we now give it in Google. Being here in Google we are going to write the same option of IBCEL. Our page, we give it in DVCEL, we wait for it to load. Now it will ask you here for this verification. Well, we verify, we verify it. We will wait for it to take us directly to the official page. As we have deactivated what are the Google services. That is why it usually takes a few minutes. We will click on it, we will look for the option, the last option that tells us apps. This option apps Davicel. Now we're going to go down and we're going to give the same option where it appears what are. The EH Google Maps here it will appear here we click. On that link it takes us to what is Google Map here we are going to click where it says. Disable here we can disable application but let's say that suddenly. That option doesn't appear to you suddenly it doesn't. It doesn't let you take what is to Google Chrome, then what we're going to do right here. What we can do is this, we're going to click here. We click here, we click back. Back, here, here, here it also comes out from here. We click on share here we look for what this option is that appears Gmail. Now we click here on jump here it also gives us. The option to be able to enable those Google services. It is already enabled, it is enabled, we go back. Back, back quickly. Now we click on it, we click on it, we click on it forward. We click here on skip forward here. We go to the Wi-Fi networks and we're going to click here where it says forget. We click here on forget. Now we don't have to have no SIM car. Entered in phone to be able to recover here jump. Jump, 
jump, that he will give you the access, but this still does not end here. Our phone remains with some errors and how do we correct these errors? Well, I will explain how we correct the errors that we have left on our phone. Because sometimes we block the phone, when we block it and turn it back on it gives us. We are left, no the screen does not work, so that it works correctly for you. I will also explain to you sometimes it usually remains suddenly in the services. You are left eh what application of the Google services continues to fail or. The system joins the active operating system of your phone continues to fail. The application has stopped. So that this does not happen to you, I will explain what we have to do. To be able to correctly correct our phone and we are left without any errors. Here we will click here and next here it would take us what? Is this to start since we are here we are going to go to what? Is configuration here in configuration we are going to go to what is adjustment? We go to adjustment, now we go here about phone. We are going to wait for it to load. Here zoom in here sorry, we click here. We go back here about the phone. We go where it says factory reset and we are going to reset everything. This is so that our phone is free of any errors. When it restarts completely we are going to configure it. Normally and now we are going to add what is our email and our password. 